Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got Wanam Lite 7.2. So yeah, uh, a bit of prequel uh, before I get, begin this, okay. I know I haven't been uh, making videos lately, that was because of the laptop, okay. I was uh, upgrading it, I was updating all the apps, uh, I updated it to the latest windows and things like that so it uh, kind of get a bit, got a bit busy. Okay, now about this. Um, I recently noticed that the Samsung update just came out. Okay, the official not the official version is only available in, uh, for Ireland, Vodafone. So uh, you can uh, use uh, that version through Odin. Uh, so I just want to show you guys what the 4.3 is. So this is based on the 4.3, which is um, XXUGM9. Uh, which is the leaked version okay this one uses the leaked version rather than the official island version uh, you can use the island version uh, through uh, Odin but for those who has uh, who have reservations for uh, going through Odin and flashing this and rerouting your phone and well it's kind of a big process so clockwork mode is much simpler uh, you can use this package to have a much closer experience it's kind of same as that so it's pretty neat now uh, what you saw here is the uh, lock screen. I'll get into the review now. Okay, now uh, the ripple effects are back. Okay, the S3 ripple effects are here. It doesn't have the option to choose from glance. Uh, sorry, the glare, the lens flare is not uh, available in the option. But the ripple effects are a bit more uh, different. It is a bit more streamlined. So that's there. Let's go to settings. Okay, in the settings, you can see the S4 style tabbed settings, okay. Uh, if you have been using the 4.2.2 version leak, uh, that is XX, uh, EMG4, um, EME7, I guess, uh, it is ME7. If you have used that one, uh, you'll find it similar to that. So, they have skipped the 4.2 uh, update, but in the 4.3, they have implemented all of that. So yeah, let me show you guys about the device. Okay, this is 4.3 Android. Same. Okay, cool. Uh, it is this version XXUGM J9. XXUGM J9. Okay, I missed out the J, I think. Okay. So yeah, it does update the modems and uh, things like that. It's pretty neat. Uh, what I would like to recommend is that, well, I what I like to confess is that uh, with the update, I thought Samsung was going to implement most of the S4 features, uh, like the uh, the gestures, uh, air gestures, etc. Uh, but it seems they haven't done any of that. Okay, so I'm kind of disappointed. But hey, it is the last year's flagship, and the new uh, the this year's flagship has to be different, right? So yeah, I kind of get that, but still, uh, I am a bit uh, disappointed with that. Okay, now uh, the Wanam Light version has two. Okay, you have the No Wipe uh, version, which uh, does not have any blotware. Okay, you can install the blotware uh, separately. There is a zip package uh, to flash for that. Okay, so these are the apps with which it comes. I don't see much of a theme, okay, the, it, they are same as 4.2, I've been using uh, Android 4.2 leak for a while and uh, yeah, I guess that is, uh, there's nothing much changed about all of this, okay, pretty neat. All the apps are updated, S Voice is from the uh, S4, okay, so it's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I, I don't see uh, too much to get into it, uh, it is still the phone which we know is still s3 okay uh, let's go to settings and show you guys the options here available now my devices you don't uh, in the lock screen uh, you had an option the unlock effect you had an option for uh, lens flare but it's removed now okay only the ripple effect the ripple effect in the 4.3 is much more um, what should I say much more streamlined than uh, 4.1 so it's pretty neat, it's pretty cool, I don't mind having that, but I would have preferred lens flare because it was smoother, because well, under pressure it kind of gets. Now uh, display, LED indicator, uh, sound, 
all of these are the same in 4.2 so if you have if you haven't seen that already please check out my other video of 4.2 so yeah that's the same okay the power saving mode is pretty neat uh it is i believe it is improved the power saving mode whenever i turned on the professor processor does underclock significantly so the battery is pretty awesome in that uh hands free mode uh same as the other one you can use you, it reads out whatever text you get okay uh and to do benchmark okay uh, i have used and to do benchmark and um, with power saving mode on i got a score of 15900 so that's pretty significant okay uh, with power saving off you i got uh, 18900 that is close to 1900 19000 so yeah uh it does change pretty neat uh i did um, get this phone more than one day that's my usage i don't use um, the phone that much i wouldn't say it's very heavy but it is medium heavy okay so with medium heavy usage i did get the phone uh one day so pretty awesome so uh, smart screen is these options okay it is this s3 options i don't see much difference from the uh, 4.2 rom okay again i am <laughs> saying this again i did feel a bit let down by samsung with uh these options not available the s4 options i'm going to get the developer option okay here is the developers option i guess uh if you want to see that way right? yeah i think that much is it about the rom it Okay, it doesn't do much difference uh, from uh, the 4.2 league uh, unless from in the, under the hood. It does have a lot of uh, features like uh, ANT plus support, trim support that's making the ROM uh, smaller, the size is smaller. So the those are really uh, pretty uh, awesome features to have in the 4.3 ROM. But uh i really felt, feel let down by uh, the uh anticipation i was anticipation anticipating that the s4 features will be implemented in this but it's not okay one feature uh was uh from s4 is the uh, sound and shot okay which is sound and shot which uh, actually records a, a part of the sound okay and then it saves along with the photo so yeah that's something uh from the s4 so that's pretty neat uh, the icons are changed so that's something which uh is there theming is changed yeah i guess that is it about the uh stock rom it is a warnum light 7.2 uh i have been talking more about the rom than warnum light okay warnum light uh is something of a base rom okay it doesn't have much of the bells and whistles from other rom okay but the awesome thing is the one i'm exposed framework okay it is uh this exposed framework which call awesome which has these awesome features like you can modify almost everything so it's pretty awesome uh do check that out so yeah i guess that is it about the rom uh i'm not going to show the boot animation is a similar samsung a logo so yeah there you have it hope you guys like the video please subscribe like and share the video if you found it useful uh, see you guys next time bye